they all were meaningful to them. Really? So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, if you want to share what you... We just talk naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, what the... You, you share with me what the... What this means to us, to you. Well, I sit here, you know, every every morning, have coffee, have breakfast, and I watch all the birds that come in, and um, there's there's so many different species of birds that are coming in now, because the the land is being built up so much that the habitat is being taken away from them, and so they have to travel farther. And they don't migrate as long far as they used to mm -hmm. because the food supply is getting very scarce. And so if there's anybody around that, that feeds them and they find a, a place where they can go to get food, th then that's where they'll congregate, you know. Um, but living here all, all my life, I, I can see so many changes, you know, in, in, in the landscape. And th this land belongs to you and me and everybody. Right. And we all should take more uh, uh, pride in it and be more conscious of what goes on around us because the environment is changing so much it really is. that uh, people really have to pay attention to what's going on around them. Right. Um, uh, I've seen so many changes in, in the, the landscape and um, the, the uh, temperature changes, uh, the weather patterns. Weather patterns, exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, all of that stuff is, is, is what we never had before. And, and, of course, the population is getting larger all the time. And, and, and that, you know, that changes the way people live and and the environment even, uh, the pollu pollution of, from productions of everything, you know. Right. So um, I often wonder what it's going to look like here in another 10 or 15 years. Of course, I won't be around that long, I don't, I don't think. <laughs> uh, if I do, it would be a miracle. But I, I really sit here and enjoy this property where I'm at because yeah. uh, it, it's, a, it's a great comfort and I, and I can relate to what it looks like now and what it used to look like when I was a kid coming up, you know. What would you want somebody who is new to this land, to this area, to Mashby, what would you want them to know about this place? Somebody who, they didn't grow up here, they don't really have the connection. Mm -hmm. what, would, what would you want them to know based on your life and your experiences? Uh, mostly I think they should concentrate more on protecting the land because everything pertains to the land. Mm -hmm. I mean everything. Your air, your food, everything comes from the earth. And if you don't protect the earth, then you won't have anything in a, time, in a little while. Uh, your food, uh, water. You know, I'm, I'm sure, like, things that you've done over your lifetime here, even in your childhood, fishing and hunting and... Um, various activities uh, obviously are, are different, would be mm. different now compared to Much you know, different your now. day. Yeah. The, the, the laws that they made, you know, they confine a lot of things that we used to be able to do mm -hmm. freehand, you know, mm -hmm. uh, travel, build, do whatever you wanted to. and. Uh, Way back in the old days, everybody had to live together and work together, and and they helped each other. It was more uh, like community, community yeah. uh, and um, 
That was how we survived, you right. know, by helping each other mostly. Today, uh, people have got more on their mind. Uh, and uh, one thing that, that really hurts but can't be helped is two people having to work now in, in, in the family and to, to make a living, you know. Yeah. And that, that's hard on the children because they, they're, the kids are neglected because the family's parents uh, uh, are so involved with trying to keep things together, you know, that I think the children more or less are suffering from lack of attention with their families. Yeah, and I'm sure that's obviously so much different than when, when you were young because, of course, it was a whole different era um, yeah. then where um, the activities maybe that, that you did as a child yeah. are certainly nothing um, like today. Yeah. Well, yeah, years ago, we had a, we had a, a strict time for meals, uh, in the morning, at noon, and at night, it, especially at night, when, at the supper table, everybody would sit and come around, and, and the whole family would be sitting yeah. at the table at once. Mm -hmm. no, 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 nothing of grabbing this and running, you know. Mm -hmm. we, we sat there, and we ate, and we talked about what happened during the day. Yeah. And I, actually, <laughs> I guess it's really uh, 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 an entertainment thing because in those days, you didn't have radios, televisions, telephones, or so, any of that stuff. So everybody was interested in what someone else had, uh, or who they met during the day, a neighbor, or what they talked about. It was a you know conversation, right. uh, and and it was it, it brought families closer together. I think, you know. Yeah. 